What's going on gamers? Today we're going to be talking about subdomains with your Apex server. When an Apex server is created, it's given a unique IP port combination, which typically looks like the following. If we scroll down on the page, we're going to see the subdomain and the IP address port combination. Right here, this is what it looks like. It's of course the IP address hyphen followed by your port. This combination is the raw address of your server and can be used or given out to others in order to join the server. But as you can imagine, it could be a pain to remember that long string of numbers every time you want to give it to a user so they can log into your server. A way around this issue would be the implementation of a subdomain. A subdomain is essentially a human readable string of alphanumeric characters used to mask the raw address of the server. This mask makes it easier to remember the server address used to join a server. For example, the subdomain grayloid151627 .apexmc.co is the default subdomain for my server, but it is also the mask for the IP address port combination right here. So I can log in with either of these, namely being our subdomain, which you can just copy by clicking on the copy widget of the page. And by default, this is what Apex sets for you. This is your username, your Minecraft username, namely, and then your server ID, followed by the apexmc.co, which will be at the end of every Apex server. If you wanna change your server subdomain, all you have to do is head on your server's multicraft page. From there, our first step, as always, is going to be stopping our server. Once a server is stopped, you're gonna to wanna to scroll down and find the subdomain part of the page. From here, all you have to do is double click, highlight everything, and then clear it out. I'm just gonna go ahead and name it test name just for an example's sake, and then click out of it. And from there, we're gonna go ahead and scroll down to the bottom of the page and make sure that we hit save. Once you've saved, you can go ahead and restart your server. And that's it. That's all you have to do to change your subdomain name once your server has been created. To answer a couple frequently asked questions, no, you don't have to pay for your subdomain. This service is managed and provided by Apex as a courtesy, completely free to the user and you can always update an existing subdomain. All you have to do is scroll down and change the subdomain name field on the game panel and then press save. And of course, you can only have one subdomain for your server. Well, everybody, that's all I've got for you today. Thanks for watching this tutorial. Thank you for using an Apex server. And as always, I hope you have lots of fun.